Today's Bible study is titled, For Whom the Law? It's amazing just how many believers either have a desire or are taught to, once saved by grace, incorporate Israel's old covenant law, the law or law of Moses, into living thereafter. Some Christian denominations teach that the law can somehow be used to guide believers to acceptable living before God. Typically, they are thinking the Ten Commandments, but any student of the Word knows that there are some 600 plus actual laws in the Old Covenant. Let's take a look at some rightly divided scriptures to see what is the purpose of and for whom is, or is not, the law. Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart and of a good conscience, and of faith unfeigned, from which some having swerved have turned aside unto vain jangling, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say, nor whereof they affirm. We know that the law is good, if a man use it lawfully, knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. 1 Timothy 1 verses 5 to 9 The takeaway for these verses today is to know. Number 1. The law is good if a man use it lawfully, and number two, the law is not made for a righteous man. Let's dig in a bit. Just who is a righteous man? Well, Paul cleared that up in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21, stating, For he has made him, Jesus Christ, to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. So, anyone who has believed the gospel of grace, 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4, and by grace through faith, Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9, been saved is a righteous man, and therefore the law is not made for him. And just in case these verses are not enough, Romans 6 verse 14 clearly states, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. So, what purpose does the law serve and not serve in this dispensation of the grace of God? One need only look to Romans 3 verses 19 to 22. Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. Enough said, the weight of scripture clearly instructs that the old covenant law is not for members of the body of Christ today. And those that would seek to put you under the old covenant law seek only to control you of such beware. Believer, live in grace. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.